and he said in the meeting that he was aware that the sticking point in the negotiations, one of the most difficult points in the negotiations, uh, is the issue of the Irish border, <clears throat> and he wants to keep that open um, and believes that can be done. Uh, we didn't go into any, any particular detail as to how he thinks it can be done, um, but he understands that that has to be a shared objective, that if the UK is going to leave with a deal, uh, that deal must involve uh, legally operable guarantees that we won't see the emergence of a hard border between North and South. <coughs> he didn't elaborate on uh, why he thinks um, Brexit would be good for Ireland, um, uh, but then we very, very much discussed the different nature of the border, and I explained that 20 or 30 years ago we did have a hard border uh, between North and South, um, particularly when the troubles were happening, uh, and there were customs posts and so on, and that everyone in uh, Ireland, North and South, um, Unionists and nationalists want to avoid a return to a hard border, but that Brexit is a threat in that regard and an unintended consequence that we can't allow. Oh, not at all. Um, it came up in, at the press event, so you were there for that and had, you had an opportunity to uh, ask him about climate change. And then in our private meeting, I mentioned um, the fact that I would be attending uh, the climate change conference in New York in September uh, and that Ireland was. Uh, determined to uh, meet our obligations under the Paris Agreement, even if the US is withdrawing. Peter, do you think that... Well, I, I disagree with the decision of the US to pull out of the Paris Accords. Uh, climate action is something that every country in the world has to act together on, uh, or we won't be able to uh, stop climate change. And that's why big countries like the US and China have to be part of this as much as small countries like Ireland. Um, I'm also conscious as well, though, that... Uh, we're a country that um, is still playing catch-up in terms of um, uh, meeting uh, our climate obligations, and uh, I'd rather be in a position uh, of strength. I'd like us to do more to meet our obligations, to meet our 2030 tar targets, uh, so that we can be in a stronger position to say to other countries that they should too. Ireland is a very good story to tell. Yeah, I, I, I don't think he's specifically backing uh, any one particular candidate for the leadership of the Conservative Party. He had some good things to say, both about uh, Boris uh, Johnson and also about um, uh, Jeremy Hunt, but uh, I don't think he's specifically taking sides. Um, but I think all of us just need to allow the Conservative Party to um, go through its process and elect a new leader, and if that new leader becomes Prime Minister, um, my responsibility to Taoiseach, as Taoiseach will be to deal with them uh, and to protect Ireland's interests, and that's what I'll do. Taoiseach, this visit has its, has its critics in terms of its cost.